Hey guys. Hi. Got to our first site. Might be the only site of the day. But this is a beautiful panel. It's got a bunch of historic markings, a bunch of archaeological markings, and something, some things that are different that you don't see in most places. So let's get in and take a closer look. This one. Part of it's weathered away, but it's connected to a lot of those. That kind of zigzag yeah. scallop line right there. And then to the anthropomorphs with the packs or whatever on their backs. Yeah, which is really similar to that place we went uh, in another part of the Red Cliffs Conservation Area a couple of weeks ago. And so. we're up here. One of the one of the really interesting things about this site is these groups of dots that traverse this whole wall. And we'll see if we can get some more detail on those in just a minute as well. Yeah. L Owen. Yeah. And something below that with maybe a T, and it's got the year there, 1879. We have a big H up here higher. And we have another really old inscription here. Right in the middle. Right in the middle of the petroglyphs. There's a C A. I see A D. A D. Look 40. above that. Look at the line above that. Oh. What? Oh, for rude. 1924 it looks like huh. makes me want to look at the census data for those years and right. see what we can find this is just fascinating oh pointing at the same it's, glyph again yeah yeah let's see if we can show and i don't know if there's a correct order to this right to left left to right but Getting in a little closer, you can see these anthropomorphs here have look like they're carrying packs. And bump double the zoom for a second. And get these guys along here too. And the dots are interesting. Yeah. Who knows if they went on? Yeah. But they do go on the other direction. Yeah. So let's see if we can get over and look at that as well. So we have this other glyph right here among the dots, dots above and below. Another marking here for 1876 above his name. And now here's one that really bugs me. We got a beautiful spiral right here and graffiti over the top of that. This one must have been done with somebody with a hammer and a chisel or a hammer and a nail. Yeah. Probably a chisel looking at it. But this edge right here is the start of the dots. So I think we're going to measure and see if we can get some length on these dots as well. Let's see if I can measure correctly. Another glyph that is really not very visible until you get it just right is this one right here. All right, so what I was looking at is there's kind of a U-shaped thing here. There's some sort of scratching in that fills in this area, this area here, and this U-shaped. So here's Steve. He's counted the... So 64 dots on the second row. So 64 dots on the second to the top row. This row stops. 
That row stops at 29. And this block everywhere else is in residence. It does make me wonder if they are right to left then. I know. And before I forget, right here I've got four dots as well below the spiral. And if you look at the bottom row of dots, uh, sorry, down on the to the right, and go to where it says 8048. Uh huh. So right There's there. Another set of four dots there. And then go a little further. Are you talking about these? Uh huh. 22. Does it split? Or is it four dots? Or is it four or five? And this one's got some peck marks, but not, not like it's been completed or filled in. Anyways, we're to 25 or something here. Mm -hmm. So if we look at that, that's probably another 75 across that road. Oh, well, guys, just getting ready to pick this video up. I'd talk about a couple of things I've learned this week. I've been following along on my deep dive from the Paiute people from a week ago and learning more about the Paiute's respect of the rocks. And it kind of leads me to things, think more in depth about the petroglyphs and what they mean to the area, what they mean to the people. So a lot of times the Paiutes will say that they don't know what petroglyph means. It could be that it's been lost through the generations. It could be that the meaning has been lost for thousands of years, but it still may mean something to the people who walk past it and see it on a regular basis. So the Paiutes, the people who made the petroglyphs, and not to say all the petroglyphs in their scenario have been Paiutes, but some are. They had a deep respect for the rocks. They cared to not mark the rocks unless they needed to. So, when you're out in the wilderness, don't mark the rocks unnecessarily. And respect the rocks that are there. Respect the marks that are there. They're special. They were sacred to the people that carved them. They're still sacred to the descendants of the people that carved them. So, treat them with respect. Treat these hills and these mountains and valleys with respect. 